Hey guys, how you doing? So in today's class, we're just going to use some of the basic tools that we've learned in class and that I've shown you, but I'm just going to go over uh, in greater detail and slower uh, for you guys so you can get a better understanding of them. And we're just going to use a basic polygon cube to test the tools out on, okay? So the first tool we're going to test it out on the cube is the multi-cut tool. It's a versatile tool that we use in Maya every day and it's a good tool to understand um, and to know how to use. So let's go to mesh tools and you'll have multi-cut tool here. And one thing you'll notice is this tool only works when you're in object mode. As you can see, we're in object mode. And then when you click on it, we start to go into component mode. So now you can start clicking anywhere you want and you can start inserting edges. And you can go all the way around and finish the loop. And as you get to the last point, you'll see the word close and you can close it. So now you could either hit uh, Q and you'll close close the, the loop and get out of the tool or you can right click and just finish the operation so the edge will become final and now you're still in the tool and you can do other operations. So one of the other tools I showed you in class was under mesh tools insert edge loop and that basically did what we just did with the multi-cut tool but in one shot. But not a lot of people know is the multi-cut tool also has this option in it. So to do that go into the multi-tool if you're not in there I stayed in it by just right clicking and now what you can do is if you hit control and you hover when you're still in the multi-cut tool you'll see that you can start to insert edge loops instead of just cut the edges one by one so that's a nice feature and all you have to do to get that is go into the multi-cut tool and hold control and just hover over an edge and you'll get that option now another cool option is to increment. So let's say you want to go in 10 degrees. So what you can do is if you hold shift you'll see this little black dot but once you click on it with the left click is you'll see it says snap and 50 percent and now if you move it a little bit you'll see these other little black dots show up and now you go to 40 percent, 30 percent, 20 percent, 10 percent and you can do that all the way up to 90 percent. So there you go. Now you you can you can build your edge perfectly. Okay, this I because it it bases the degrees from this edge where I'm uh, sliding up and down to this edge. So this edge is zero, and this edge is a hundred, and you're just going in 10 percent increments. So now this is 50 percent. I want let's say I want to cut an edge loop manually all the way around at 50 percent I can just start there go to the next edge hold down shift and make sure I'm at 50 not 30 or 40 50 and I can keep going and click and I'm on 50 and keep going 50 and then just close it click and then right click to stay in the tool so you can also do this operation not just in the multi-cut feature but also in the insert edge loop feature. So if you hold down control and shift, you'll see you don't get the little increment showing up for some reason. It doesn't do it when you're doing it in the insert edge loop feature, but it still does it. There you go. So you got probably like 50, 40. So yeah, you can you can just gauge it. 90 and then obviously this one is a hundred right so you can just insert insert alright so that's that's the basics of the multi-cut tool okay guys so it's a very easy tool to use and not that complicated alright 